Hey guys, Carter, Bits be tripping. How's it going? We're gonna get right into this one. So yesterday, if you saw that video, I got the Jackery Explorer 240 and the Solar Saga 60, which is a way to charge that if you don't have any kind of AC power, DC power directly to the, the unit through the 110 volt or through the car, you could charge it through solar. So what we're gonna to try today is, I saw a few of the comments in there about, can it run a mining rig in for how long? So what we're gonna to do today, the power color 5600 XT, paired up into the test bench, plugged directly in to the Jackery here. And we're gonna go ahead and get this fired up. Get the test bench loading fully on that. You can see the output power right now. It's using about 60 watts of power for the base machine. I'm gonna run an afterburner real quick on this. Here's afterburner coming up. You guys can see that. I already have a preset setting for this, this card. We're gonna come over here, apply that. You can see those settings, 1200 on the core, voltage all the way down and 1860 on the memory. And then we're gonna run, we're gonna start the miner. We can see the card running now. Getting right there, I'm 42 on the mega hash and you can see the clock settings right now that it's running. And we're using about 148 watts of power in the unit. It's at 96 and we're recording a time lapse so you guys will be able to see how long. So that lasted about an hour and 40, 40 some odd minutes, 42 minutes in total. And I'll put some numbers down here below of essentially what did that mean with mining something like ETH? How much ETH was able to be mined in that much time? Um, you know, obviously this is just kind of a fun thing to do with that small of a battery pack, seeing what's in the realm of possible. And really the fact that I can charge that, I can take that outside and charge that by the sun and it'd be 100% within a day and then I could repeat that. Now, obviously that would be a very slow way to earn cryptocurrency and that'd be a very long return on investment. Uh, the Explorer is about $200 and the, the solar panel is about 169. So we're talking about $400 after everything's d said and done. That's an expensive thing to just get like an hour and a half out of your mining rig. But again, this was just for fun to see what's in the realm of possible with something like this. But coming up, I'm gonna be packing and preparing for the 6900 XT. Can't wait to bring you guys along with that. I'm actually packing for tomorrow. So tomorrow's Saturday and hopefully there's not people up there, but I'm gonna make sure I have everything there. And then I'm gonna start getting posted up and set up for that. And I'll be bringing live tweets. So if you guys are not following me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter and we'll be just talking about crypto stuff in general. It'll give me some time to work with you guys on some content while we're out there. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. I mean, I'm gonna enjoy sitting out there I'm trying to make the best of it. It's gonna be about 20 degrees, so that's gonna be pretty cool. But hopefully you guys thought this one was pretty fun. I thought it was pretty interesting to see how long it would last based on what it's rating. And I will catch you guys on the next one.